Oh, welcome back to New York penthouse homeless snoop for good ones week. I'm out of it. I am out of it. Allergies have completely kicked my ass this week. It's really put a damper on the penthouse. It's been tough, but we're powering through it. When I feel sick, I like to stay away from coffee. So I was sort of guided to finding the next good one. My mornings have been relatively slow this week, but something caught my eye. It caught my eye in the cabinet. Searching, searching, and oh, whoa, what's that guy? Is that tea I see? This is some pretty serious tea, and I'm into it. And now I'm really into it. Thank you for joining me today. This is a nice little episode I like to call Cup of Teas and Sunsets. Cup of tea, watch the sunset. This is the Ultralux Block Tea. I am intimidated. I'm very, very intimidated. These guys are so intimidatingly real. I'm almost scared to talk about it. I've always been fascinated with teas. I've dove in a few times into more of the Japanese style tea. This seems to be very London, European based. It's uncharted waters. I'm not gonna act like I'm an expert here. I will tell you that in the next couple of years, I will become a Tavaj. Full out Tavajian. It was always a matter of time before I got obsessed with tea, and Block Tea just opened the gates wide open. I've been starting my morning with these guys for the past week. Uh, I'm hooked. I feel like I should have white gloves on right now. This stuff is awesome. The yellow packaging here is a bold move that I can't help but to respect. It is incredibly simple, and the font is just so elegant. I. I'm scared, but we're gonna face our fears and we're gonna dive in. So I've been researching these guys for the past couple of days. The brand is deep. Let me read the first line and the about section on their website. Block Tea Atelier. They call themselves Tea Ateliers. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that right. Block Tea Atelier, an inconspicuous jewel box tucked away into a quiet corner of Greenpoint, Brooklyn. What? We have turned six years of sourcing and blending the finest teas and botanicals into devoted and articulate history of tea connoisseurship. Even before you take a sip, a cup of tea can transport you. <laughs> oh yeah, yep, these are my tea guys. Okay, so I have been drinking the Majorel Mint Green Tea. Uh, it's amazing. It soothes my throat. It does the perfect job. This is not a Lipton sort of sugar blend or there's no like ground powder in, in these tea bags. These are full-fledged herbs. I literally look like I just dug these out of the ground that you have to make your own tea bag with. It's awesome. So you go in, you take a tea bag, and you sort of open it up, and then you fill it up. Very let me roll my own cigarette, Brooklyn, outside of a train stop. Oh, and also, I read on the website that their store is like actually hidden in Greenpoint. I'll tell you right now, I will find them. I will go to the store, and I need to talk to these guys. I need to learn from the Tavajas. We have our little self-packed tea bag. I guess you're supposed to do one to two teaspoons per eight ounces of water. And these guys are super particular about the water they use. They will not use New York City tap. I watched a video where they like giggle. They giggle at Martha Stewart for even thinking that that might be okay. Like these guys are serious. Gotta hurry up, the sunset is going down. Okay, so you pack it in there, you, you roll it up. Very Davy B style right there. Make sure it's rolled. You let it sit there. I don't know if I'm doing this right, but it felt it felt right. And then you pour. Oh yeah, oh yeah. The most luxury product I bought on here, it's, it's expensive. It's like 70 bucks for one of these things. It might be worth it. I really think I might spend that much money on this because my days have been better. Maybe it's just because I'm sick, I don't know. All I know is that this has opened up a whole new world of tea. I think Balak has turned me into a tea guy. I think I'm a tea guy now. And now, you, you, once you have your nice little Balak self-made tea, tea time and sunset begins. Now you enjoy, you reflect, and you tea time and sunsets. Tea time and sunsets. Yep.
I'm a British aristocrat. You sit on the windowsill, you let the tea transport you, you take a sip, and you sunset. Oh yeah. Greenpoint's hidden English tea gem, Block Tea, is an ultra luxe good one.